Marginal flash flooding for the Pacific Northwest and another cool wave coming from the upper Midwest into the Midwest, but we're going to see a lot of warm weather come through by next week. Good morning, I'm Meteorologist Disputes, October 31st, 2025. Yesterday, the Weather Prediction Center issued a marginal risk for flash flooding for the Northeast, especially in the urban areas such as New York City, but now on the flip side, we're going to the Pacific Northwest where there's a marginal flash flooding throughout the coastline. Basically, we're having another one of those atmospheric rivers, essentially one big plume of moisture coming through from the Pacific into the area. As of this morning, places in the Pacific Northwest coast is already experiencing some showers and we're going to see a little bit more intense showers around 1 p.m pacific time and this is pretty much going to last throughout the day into the night and it's going to start diminishing by tomorrow morning around 10 a.m so looking at 500 millibars of midway to troposphere we have an upper level low pressure coming down from the pacific into the vicinity of this area and it's bringing in a lot of winds aloft and so with that of course we're going to have a lot of shear which is going to tilt those updrafts and prolong those storms going into the coastline and because we have a mountain ranges right along the coast we're going to have a lot of orographic lift to help produce those thunderstorms so the biggest concern today for flash flooding is mainly runoff or basically water coming down from the mountain. Now looking back at 500 millibars, we still have this massive trough going from the northern Rockies to the south to the northeast, but we also have another isolated upper level low pressure coming down from the upper Midwest. Even though at the surface we have dew points from the 30s and 40s, we're going to have relative humidity almost around 100% in the upper Midwest, and this is pretty consistent from the surface and aloft as well. And so with this upper level low pressure coming through, it's bringing in two things for us. One is bringing us vorticity maximum, which is helping spin the updrafts, but also some decent shear which is going to tilt those updrafts. And at the surface, we're going to have a low pressure as well. And that's going to have some surface convergence with the winds. And because we have the ground, it's going to go up. And so we're going to have a little bit of some upward motion as well from that. And so with that being said, with all these lifting mechanisms and the relative humidity is pretty much close to saturation, we are going to have some isolated to scattered light rain. There may even be some parts in the Dakotas and upper part of Minnesota that may even see a sprinkle of some snow. But rest assured, that's most likely not going to be the case where you're going to probably see light rain as temperatures are going to be a little bit above freezing temperatures. Now, back to the surface with this surface low pressure we are going to have some surface winds from 10 to 20 mile per hour sustained winds going from the upper midwest into the midwest and it's bringing a lot of winds from the north which is bringing in more cool air so tonight for halloween it might be a little chilly in these states something i do want to point out for the great lakes because large bodies of water heats and cools a lot slower than land we're still having a lot of heat being retained from the summer and so as this upper level low pressure moves down to the south we're going to have counterclockwise flow and so on the west side of these great lakes we're going to have a lot of lake effect precipitation so maybe some showers so even though we're going to have a lot of cool air coming through right now the climate prediction center is predicting that we're going to have above average temperatures throughout the majority of the states coming next week and this is because this trough that we've been seeing for the past week is finally going to be moving to the east as a high pressure is going to be moving into the south creating this massive ridge and bringing in some southwesterly flow bringing in that warm air into the states